Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong opposition to the rule and the underlying bill. H.R. 7 is yet another direct attack on women and their families. It creates sweeping new restrictions on abortion coverage for women who purchase insurance under the Affordable Care Act, with no meaningful exception to protect a woman's health. And experts predict that it could cause many insurance insurers to limit women's health options in their plans altogether. This bill injects ideology into personal medical decisions and puts politicians rather than doctors in charge of women's health care. Instead of this extreme legislation, Congress should address the real challenges facing women and families today. At a time when 42 million women are either living in poverty or on the brink of it, Congress must do more to help. We should be focused on expanding access to child care, providing workers with paid sick leave, and ensuring women equal pay for equal work. This bill does none of these. It fails women and their families, and I urge my colleagues to vote no on both the rule and H.R. 7. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentlelady from New York Reserves, the gentlelady from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I now yield one and one half minutes to the distinguished